Y'all ready? Amen. 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 I know we have a Mother's Day message. Uh, uh, amen. But let's go over here because some of us, I want to say me first. This has been, amen, praise God. We go through this walk and we all get to this place. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. But we want to look at Jesus. Mm -hmm. Come on. Amen. Let's go to Let's go to Mark chapter 14. Let's go to the garden. Let's go to the garden. Amen. The garden on Mother's Day. All right. Come on somebody. Fourteen and thirty-two. You with me? Yes. And they came to a place which was named Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, "Sit here, while I shall while I shall pray." And he taken with him Peter and James and John. And began to be sore amazed. And he was very heavy. Come on, somebody say, sore amazed. So and very heavy. Very heavy. And he said, My soul is exceeding sorrowful unto death. Come on, somebody. Tarry ye here and watch. And he went forward a little and fell down to the ground to worship, come on somebody, mm -hmm. Amen. and to pray. And he prayed that if it were possible, come on somebody, mm -hmm. that this hour might pass from me, come on somebody. Yes, sir. And he said, I'm a father, all things are possible unto thee. Mm -hmm. Take away this cup from me. Nevertheless, come on. Not my, not what I will, mm -hmm. but thy will. Yes. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers and hearers and doers of God's word. And I'll go to church and say amen. 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 You may have your seat in the presence of the Lord. And y'all with me still. Amen. Jesus comes to this place called Gethsemane. Mm -hmm. And the scripture says, Amen. Praise God. Let, 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 let me go somewhere before I come back here. We read this first. Come with me to Hebrews. Hebrews. This is going to help somebody this morning. Because it helped me when God gave it to me. Amen. Hebrews chapter 4. Mm, bye, bye, bye. Hebrews chapter 4. Verse 14. You with me? Amen. Seeing then that we have a great high priest mm -hmm. that is passed into the heavens. Are y'all with me? Yes. He's in the heavens. He's in you and he's in the heavens. He's at the right hand of the Father. Amen. Amen. Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our profession. Tell your neighbor, hold fast, my brother. Hold fast. To your profession. Hold fast, my sister. To your profession. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on, hold fast. Hold fast. For we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, mm. but was at all point tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. We don't have a man, a high priest that ain't been through nothing. Come on, somebody. Right. This high priest has been tempted just like you being tempted today. Uh -huh. He was tempted in every area that you were being tempted in. Come on, somebody. Uh -huh. What you done dealt with, Jesus said, I dealt with. You came in, you mean to tell me Jesus dealt with all that? Yeah, Jesus dealt with everything. It didn't say some things. It said all things. In every area that you're being tempted, whatever you went through, Jesus did it too. Uh -huh. Come on, somebody. Then it says, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. Are y'all with me? So we got, to, we got to do something. There's something required of us to do. Uh, we, we need to come to the throne of grace. 
and that we may obtain mercy mm -hmm. and find grace, come on somebody, to help in the time of need. Yeah. And when I see that word help, that means to give aid to. Come on somebody. Uh -huh. How many of you need some help this morning? <laughs> come on somebody. I, 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 let me raise my hands first. Uh, when you got to deal with a whole bunch of things, you need help. Come on somebody. And you know what I find? Amen. Praise God. I need more help now that I'm a Christian than I needed help when I was in the world. Y'all gonna help me. I ain't gonna get no amens up in here. I need some help. Somebody help me. And God said, you got to find help in the time of need. That word need means I need help. In other words, uh, in order to get help, need means you're in the right position to receive help. Yes. Somebody help me. Yes, sir. So Jesus knew that he had to fall down. Uh -huh. Oh, come on, somebody. Yes. Wow. Jesus need help, so he got in a position to receive some help. Yes. Oh, man, come on, somebody. Yes. So you got to get low. Tell your baby to get low. Yes. You got to get low to get help. Uh -huh. Come on, somebody. I don't need no help if I'm in this position. Come on, somebody. Uh -huh. But if I'm in the right position in my heart, come on, somebody. I need to get low in order for God to help me. Yes. So it's how you come to the throne first. Come on, somebody. You got to come boldly to the throne. In other words, with confidence, knowing that God is going to help me. Why? Because I'm in the right position to receive yes. it. Yes. Amen. 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 I'm, I'm, I ain't going to mess with that. But you got to. Come with me to Hebrews. Hmm. Hebrews chapter 2. And I'm on this thing, little Johnny. God won't get me off it, brother. All right, brother. Stay in that vein. Hebrews chapter 2. 14, y'all with me? Yeah, For as much then as the children are partakers mm. of flesh and blood, mm. he himself likewise took part of the same. Mm -hmm. That through death he might destroy him that had power of death, that is the devil, mm -hmm. and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. In other words, you don't have to fear death anymore. Amen. You don't have to be afraid of death no more. Come on, somebody. For verily he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, in all things it behooved him to be made, or he had to be. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. He had to be made, if you look at that word, he had to be made like unto his brother. Come on, somebody. That he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in the things pertain, pertaining to God. See, he had to be made like us so he could be faithful and merciful. Right. Come on, somebody. Right. Now, God said, you show me a preacher ain't been through nothing, I show you the preacher ain't got a message. Right. Come on, somebody. Right. Come on, somebody. How, you, you can't bring no deliver or he won't be merciful because he ain't been through nothing. Come on. I can't relate to you because I ain't been through what you've been through, but I can tell you how to get through what you're going through, but I can't go, somebody. I really can't relate to you, so all I can give you is intellect and not pain. I can't give you passion because passion brings deliverance. It was the passion of Christ that brought deliverance. Somebody help me. It wasn't an intellect Thing. God just didn't say, is that all y'all say? He said, no, I'm going to go through what you got to deal with so I can be merciful and faithful to your issues. Come on, somebody. We ain't dealing with a God, amen, that don't know what we've been through. He said, if I'm preaching, if I'm, Jesus came preaching, I came to preach. The gospel Jesus said to the captive, those the broken order to set the captives free. He said, I came to preach th this word, but he said, guess what? I'm going to go through uh -huh. so I can be merciful to you. Yes. 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 So he had to be made like his brothers. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on, somebody. 
He said, thou has prepared, in Hebrews chapter 10, he says it like this, thou has, lo, I come in the volume of the book where it is written of me to do thy will. He said, thou has prepared me a body. Yes. yes. You prepared a body for me. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. Look what he keeps saying. Pertain to the to God to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. For in that he himself have suffered being tempted. He suffered. Come on, somebody say suffered. Suffer. He is able to secure them also. Mm. Come on, somebody. Yes. That are tempted. Come on, yes. somebody. Yes. Don't you know we have an anchor of our soul? Yes. Jesus. Okay, watch this. Let's go back to the garden. God had to remind me of the garden this week. Mm. Come on, somebody. Sometimes you need to be reminded of the garden. Yeah. And you have to look at your, your Lord and Savior, amen, Jesus. Amen. Sometimes you got to look at Jesus when you, when, when, when you have to be reminded of the garden. Come on, somebody. Because Jesus knew that he was going to be crucified. Come on, somebody. Jesus knew, amen, who he was. Somebody say amen. He knew that, amen, where he came from. The Bible said he became poor that we could become rich. Come on, somebody. He beheld, amen, the glory of the Father. He was the Word of God made flesh. He still is the Word of God. Amen. Somebody help me. He knew who he was. Us. Amen. Praise God. He knew, amen, that he would raise on the third day, but he was made like us, so he had that he had to go through that garden experience. Come on, somebody. Amen. So he could relate to your garden experience. Amen. Somebody help me up in this amen. place. Sometimes we have to be reminded of the garden. Come on, somebody. Right. Right. Because the garden puts everything in perspective. Yes. Come on, somebody. Amen. You got to understand that God was made flesh. Yeah. God, the word of God was made flesh. And if God can came down from the throne. Somebody help me. If the word of God came down mm -hmm. to be made flesh, to be tempted in every area, to suffer, then you got, who are you? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. If he came down yeah. in flesh, he said, I want you to look at me every time you get an attitude. Mm -hmm. I want you to look at me every time you start doubting. Mm -hmm. I want you to look at what I had to deal with, and I want you to know that I can relate to your feelings. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. But he said, I want, you to I want you to look at this. It says, the first thing that came to me is when he came to the garden, he was so amazed. He was overwhelmed mm -hmm. with wonder, distress, and alarm. Mm -hmm. He was in the garden. We're talking about Jesus. He was overwhelmed with what he was about to deal with. He, he, he was not looking, come on somebody. He, he saw, he knew he was going to receive a crown of glory, but man, he knew he had to deal with the crown of thorns. Yes. Oh, somebody help me. Mm -hmm. He knew what he was about to face, come on somebody. Yeah. Even though he knew who he was. Mm -hmm. How many of you know who you are? Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't change that you got that you, it doesn't change the fact that you have to go through something. Uh -huh. Come on, somebody. And God said, I said, well, why are you leading me to this way? He said, you know what, son, the message has to change worldwide. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The, the yeah. message has to change nationwide. Uh -huh. yeah. Come on, somebody. Yes. Because this distorted message in the church now, amen. You got folks can't stand on a can't stand on nothing. Not not a rock. They can't stand on regular breath. They can't stand on nothing because of this distorted message. Mm -hmm. And I said, Lord, I said, Lord, I said, Lord, and God said, I gotta remind you of the, the, the garden of your city. I begin to say, Lord, who, who can hear this? Who wants to hear a message about suffering? Who wants to hear a message about being purified? Who wants to hear a message about going through? Who wants to hear a message about overcoming? God said, preach it anyway. Come on, somebody. Yes, Come on. He said, because the message has been distorted. In the pulpit. Amen. It's a distorted message to call people to take their eyes off me and put it on things. Come on. Yes. Yes. 
Oh, come on, somebody. Yeah. And I said, Lord, who want to hear this? Who want to hear this? <clears throat> God said, you preach it. There's some ears that want to hear this. Yes. 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 There's some ears that want to hear this type of message. Uh -huh. Because something is good. See, man, when the world can recognize that we phony, come on, somebody. Uh -huh. Something is going on. Something's yes. wrong when the world say, man, y'all a joke, man. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Man, y'all, come on. The rappers are preaching it, and the, rap the rappers are rapping about it, and your preachers are preaching about it. Right. Come on, somebody. Y'all just like the rapper. Come on, somebody. Uh -huh. I, you got the big lip just like that, man. Somebody better yeah. help me. There's a distorted message mm -hmm. in the church, and this message got to be stopped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. I'm I cannot blame it on the Holy Spirit because this is what's happening in the church. Yes. Can I just say this, Charles? Can I say what you told me? Say it. Your pastor has nothing to offer me because he don't have a house on the hill. Wow. Mm. Wow. Wow. <laughs> What, what, how can I get something from somebody that don't have a house on the hill and, and the house is at the bottom? Mm. Wow. How can I get something? I'd rather look to the man that got the Bentley opposed to the man that got the Chevy. Wow. I'll look to the millionaire because he got something to offer me. But, Come on. It's a distorted message. Okay. Y'all gotta bear with your pastor, man. I'm going through some transitions. The message is changing in your pastor. Come on, somebody. Because it's it's time for some men of God. Come on, somebody. To stand up and come against this mess. Come on, somebody. To where, you know, you got the folks. You got, see, God said, I, I was talking to Elder Paul, and one thing he said, amen, he said, he said it was which blew me away, amen, which I understand clearly what it's all about now. The Bible says, Jesus said, amen, in the last day, in the last days, even the, if it were possible, even the very elect would be deceived. And now I know what it is. Right. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yes. I said, how could the very elect be deceived, Lord? And what bothered me, Sister Eva, when God started talking, Jesus started talking about the seed and the sower, and he began to say, he said, the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches and the lust of other things creep in and choke the word. Yes, 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 yes. I'm telling you, I, 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 I got to get this out of me, man. Because it's time for us to wake up, man. It's time for these brothers to sit down, humble themselves, and stop preaching this mess to God's people. It's time for some brothers to stand up and call these rap holes and tell them to talk more. It's time for some Ezekiel to rise up and stand against this mess. Put it on you, Put it face to you, It's time for them to stand up. To humble themselves. Tell them to come to the throne of grace because they got me. It's time. They don't want to preach suffering. Because suffering is not attractive to the eye. Come on. Wow. Come on. Somebody got to stand up. Somebody got to say something. Come on. Lord said, who shall go? Yes. Who shall stand in the gap? Yes. Come on. And I said, Lord, the deceitfulness. How can riches be deceitful? How can the very elect, if it were possible, be deceived? I always wondered about that. I always wondered about that, Elder. How? How can I be deceived, Lord? And, and Elder Paul said, he said, 
his son. The, the, the most powerful thing on this earth is money. Possession. That's the, that's the most powerful to where folks don't even desire God no more. Huh? And the Bible said Ecclesiastes, money answers all things. And the reason why it's the deceitfulness of riches is because the message is deceitful. Oh. And the reason why people are being deceived because they think in what they think the message caused people to think what I have what I have is a manifestation I'm blessed what I have is a manifestation that I'm godly that I'm sinless that I'm doing the right thing Ain't nothing wrong with me. Look what I'm driving. Look what I make a year. Look at my house. Look at my clothes. Look, man, come on, somebody. My appearance is a form of godliness. But I'm really denying the power thereof. How are you denying the power? Because when all hell break through in my life, when I lose my house, when I lose my car, Take your name in vain. 
whoops. But if you just give me my daily bread, I'll say, thank you. Lord, that's more than enough. See, you know, you're not going to make it. You don't know if you're going to make it next week. You don't know if you're going to make it tomorrow. But God has supplied your need today. You're going to eat today. You're going to go out to a house today. Today, give me my daily bread. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. This ain't a popular message, though. Uh, this ain't a popular message. This ain't a popular message, though. But let me tell you something. The world ain't going to look at me and tell me up phony. They won't see Jesus in me. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. We are the salt of the earth. Come on, the earth is preserved because of us. The world ain't going to look at me. Not this church and frown on it. When they speak of this church, that church is helping. That church is, come on, somebody. They make it a Laughing at us. Fifteen point five million dollar houses. And we're the example. That's not blessed. Come on. I didn't see where come on somebody. The blessings of the Lord make the man rich. And add up no sorrow to it. They that will be rich in this world, be ready to distribute. Right. Yes. Yes. Communicate yes. with what you got. Yes. Money shouldn't have you. But money got these brothers in a chokehold. Yeah. Wow. Alright, this is I don't know how I got with that. Sorry. How I got with that, but, but but God is the God. See, when you got God in you, now I see why Jeremiah said, man. God said, I'm sending you to preach mm -hmm. to Israel. Mm -hmm. And Jeremiah said, wait a minute. You want me to go preach to Judah? You want me to go preach to these folks? And Jeremiah wasn't bringing nothing but the hammer down on them folks. He said, wait a minute, man. I'm just bringing the word. I'm just preaching offense and everything. I'm not speaking in your name no more. But he said, the word of God is in me like fire. Yeah. Shut up in my bones. Y'all better help me up in this place. Yeah. And let me tell you something. If you want to preach for God, it ain't going to be popular to man. If you want to preach the word of God, amen, let me tell you, if you're obedient and willing, I'm going to tell you something. The Bible said Jesus learned obedience through suffering. That means he understood the more I suffer, the more I'm going to be rewarded. The more I, Jesus said, the more I obey God, the more I'm going to suffer. He understood the more I obey God, the more I'm going to suffer. But my obedience will lead to the ultimate reward. Yes. 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 So God is just son, it doesn't matter. You can't contain what's in you anyway. Take you the other way. Yes. What I want you to speak about. Uh -huh. Oh, somebody help me. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. In this, watch this. This message has to stop. It's the, it's the deception. It is the deceitfulness of riches. It's, it's, it's that mammon message. Mm. Oh, there's a. It's called the mammon message. Because it's a possession message. Mm. It's, it's a, it's a Doubting Thomas message. Mm. Lest I see. Mm. Lest I feel something. Mm. Lest I see something. Mm. I won't believe. Jesus said, blessed are those who have not. You just believe because you see something. Uh -huh. Oh boy, you come on. Yeah. Thomas, the only reason why you believe me because you see something and feel something. Wow. And what you see causing you to feel good. But come on, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Huh. This uh, word of faith message calls you to see what hey, I got. It. So I'm blessed. And some folk can't. Some folk can't even afford to go to church. In America, can't even afford 20 offerings. Then you got to deal when you take an offer, then you got to run money down to the pulpit. Uh -huh. 
And you call that, that and Jesus would have did that when he was here. Yeah. When he did the very opposite of what you're doing, he whooped the folks out the temple because he said, you done made my father's house a ten of feet. You don't hear nobody preaching that though. You don't hear nobody preaching when Jesus went into the temple and whooped them out of there because they was exchanging money. They were, oh. Come on, somebody. Yes. Yeah. Selling and buying in the house of God. Yes. Come on. Don't nobody preach about that though. Come on. Yes, you don't hear that message. But they ain't fooling God. God said, I'm going to expose them all. I'm going to expose them all. Because I'm raising brothers up just like you. I'm, this is a new generation. God said, I'm raising them up to expose that mess. Bringing your slave mentality in church. Come on. Help. Well, I, 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 see why this is, I see why this is just the house. <laughs> Come on, somebody. He said, I'm about to expose it. Yes, thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Because the world is laughing at it. The world that Man, come on, man. Y'all don't want nothing but our money. But y'all brothers got private jets and everything. I hear it. Yeah. Oh, the Joshua, but, and, 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 and I thank God for Brother Judah. Judah said, wait a minute, Tim ain't that. You're talking, Tim ain't like that. Come on. Oh, man, y'all got jets and everything. Y'all doing everything the world doing. One worldly person came to me, ain't even in church. Man, I was looking at that preacher in L.A., that's a joke. Yeah. Wow. Yes. This is what they say. This is what they say about us. We're not even attracted to them, but Jesus was. I'm telling you, man, that ain't the Jesus that we serve. That's another Jesus. That's another Christ. Come on, yes, sir. They're not preaching the Jesus that was in the Garden of Gethsemane. All right. I said, Lord, I don't want to hear this. He said, go to the garden. Jesus said, Lord, if there's any, if there's any other, all things are possible. Lord, is there any other way? There's got to be another way. Don't let me have to drink this cup. Don't let me have to expose these folks. But nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. Because too many people are following the blind. Yes. But it's time for their eyes to be open to the truth. Yes. <laughs> and when, what, what, the, what's so dangerous about this? Watch this. Mm. Oh, my. Come on, come on. You know, Ellen John, very, very, very anointed brother. Yes. <laughs> he told me something about the mark of the beast a while back. And I didn't, I didn't, I really, it was powerful the way he said it. But now that I started to look at the script, everybody guess what it is. Something in your head, or something in your head, a mark, you know, six smiley ships and six, six, six. But what he said, and he really used the word of God, and it was so powerful, I was like, my goodness. He said, brother, he said, what the first thing it says here is wisdom. And the word of God is spiritual. And so he began to share with us, and as I began to put it together, I said, man, that makes the sense. The, the very elect will be the seed they're made to buy. They can't buy or sell without it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. He said, son, the first thing he says, the mark is the number of a man. And I said, hmm. He said, it'll either be in the hand or on the, that mark of the beast. And they cannot buy or sell without it. He said, and the scripture says, it's the number of a man. He said, and the Lord told him to go back and look at Solomon. Solomon's weight of gold was six, six, six. Wow. The weight of Solomon's gold was six, six, six. And he said, brother, it's, it's, it's possession. It's mammon. That is the that is the mark, brother. They either got it or they wish they had it. They either already got it or they're covering it in their heart. I said, my goodness. And the more I see, how can the elect be deceived? Ain't nothing that can deceive them is but 
Mm. Would you come? Yes. Give it to me. Give it all to me. Mm. What did the devil do to Jesus? Mm. He took him up. The Bible said that they worship the image. Oh boy, y'all better help me. That mark they worship, they worship his image. And what did the devil do to Jesus? If you worship me, I give you all this. And the glory, come on somebody, and the glory of it. I can give you all the kingdoms of the earth. So, not heaven. I can give you all the kingdoms of the earth and the glory of it. What is the glory of the earth? Possessions, mammon, money. Wow. But all you gotta do is fall down and worship me. And Jesus didn't bow down to the image. So, Amen. Come on. And he said, if I don't bow down, you don't have to bow down to it neither. That's right. That's right. But you got folks that are receiving this mark and don't even know it. Mm -hmm. Oh. See, because if I came to you, see, how do I know it's, it's a deception? You have to be deceived to receive. Woo! Bah, 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 bah. You have to be deceived to receive. Yes. Yes. How do I know it's a deception, Brother Todd? Because if you came to me and said, Brother, can I snap 666 six, six on your head? You know your head, brother. Please, even a worldly man know that. Oh wait a minute, I think Mr. Marbury's no, no. I ain't put no six 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 on me. Come on, come on, somebody. Right, right. Even the natural man know that. Right. So how could it be natural? You have to receive it through deception. Yes. Wow. Come on. Well, I'm trying to leave this. The only way you can receive this mark is through. Deception. You have to conceive this thing because you cannot buy or sell without it. You can't buy or sell without money. Wow. And what they're doing, see, here's the deception. Here's the deception. That's why God told me they were in the temple. Go back and look at that. They were in the temple selling doves. Exchanging money to buy animals for sacrifices in the temple. Mm -hmm. And Jesus went over there and flipped over the money tables. Tore down the bookstores. Yeah. <laughs> Flipping it over. What in the world going on in here? Come on. Come on. My house is a house of prayer. That's right. Not a den of. You didn't mean it. You know, you know that sound, what would Jesus do? Mm -hmm. If Jesus walked in these churches today, he would be whooping us out of it. <laughs> if Jesus saw you running across the pulpit, running over money, 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 I'm anointed to get this money. You want some of this anointing, bring your money down here and put it on the altar. You want to be blessed, bring your money, come on, money. What would Jesus do? What is that? Can you imagine what he would do? In the house of God. Boy. That's good. I said, I don't want to do this, Lord. <laughs> but nevertheless. That's right. Some of you don't say, is there any other way? Can I go somewhere else? Uh, God said, wait, this is the only way. Yes. Uh, Jesus had no other way to go but that way. Uh -huh. But what that way was going to lead him, that crown of thorns was going to lead him to a crown of glory. Right. Yes. But you got to go through the pain and the suffering to get to the glory. Yes. So, That's right. Yes, yes. Okay. Is this helping anybody? Yes. Come on now. I done went completely off the message. Completely off. Completely off. Because it is time for this nonsense to stop. Charles said he got likes on Facebook from the message Wednesday. 
he gonna get some more likes from this one. Cause you know what? I'm saying what people have been wanting to say for yes. years. I'm saying for, I'm saying what people in the congregation been wanting to say for years. Yes. They tired of it. Man, you telling me all these get rich quick schemes, but you rich and I'm not. People need to know about suffering. He said, if you suffer with me, you're going to reign with me. He didn't say, if you got a lot of money, you're going to reign with me. He didn't say, if you got, if you rich, you're going to reign with me. If you got a 61-inch plasma or flat screen TV, you're going to reign with me. He said, if you suffer, you're going to reign with him. The fellowship of his suffering. Come on, are you going to suffer all the time? No, but you go suffer. And the reason why people are falling, dropping like flies in the church, because this mammon message is nothing to stand on. It's a shaky foundation. When Jesus talked about, when in, 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 in the Bible, sand is an allegory. When they was like the, mul the, the, the multitude were like the sands of the sea. Y'all ever heard that? Right. The stars of heaven, the, the sands of the sea. It's an allegory. It represents men. Mm -hmm. yes. And people are building their foundation. Men is their foundation. So when the rains descend right. and the floods beat upon that house, because that house is on men, on sand, it falls. Yes. Right. And great is the fall of it. Yes. But if you build your, if the rock is your foundation, yes. Jesus, that rain of the sin and the flood will beat upon your house and it will stand. All right. okay. But if your foundation is possession and if your foundation is mammon, when that rain descend and that flood come and beat upon your house, you gonna fall. Amen. That fall will be great because your trust was in something that was temporary. Come on, somebody. It's time, man, I'm telling you, I know this has been different. I'm telling you, I, I don't know what's going on with me. I don't know, y'all. Just, just work with me in the Holy Ghost. Amen. But God is stores this message people been waiting to hear. And it is sad when the world look at us that way. Come on. I know you got a Cadillac outside. Come on, somebody. Ain't nothing wrong with having a nice thing. I got that thing. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. We buy the RV in two years, right, baby? That's our two year plan. Two year plan. We budgeted it to get it. Come on, somebody. That's our two year plan. But let me tell you something. Money don't got me. I got money. Money don't got you. You don't have to be rich. Money can have you poor. That's why you steal to get it. Because it got you. But if you, God, thank you for my daily bread. And you can take this message into a, a church and get thrown out with it. Daily bread, brother, what you talking about? I got to have a fat, fat bank account. Man, I ain't talking about you ain't got to have no savings on that yet. My wife teaches budgeting plans. That we need to do the next one. But let me tell you something. It's your attitude. Lord, thank you for my daily bread. If I lose it today, then I, you still will supply my need. Because my faith ain't in that money. In that, in that unrighteous man which is here today and gone tomorrow. And so many people think of me about that. Look at these. I'm closing. I'm closing. I'm closing. I want you to leave here with this thought, man. Look at, look at, look at the, the game shows and the shows that come on TV. Folks, what they'll do for money. Fear factor. They'll eat anything for money. Five thousand dollars, man. I eat a frog. About to throw up. Try to get that money. Because money is a god. It's a powerful God. It's the God in America. And it's Satan too. It's his tool. That's not God. The earth is the Lord and the fullness 
thereof. But money is Satan's tool. Yes. 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 That's it, sir. He said, I, I know I can get people to worship this. And I can get some old twisted thinking preachers to preach a twisted message to God's people. Satan ain't worried about the world. They already his. But guess when the devil was hanging out with Jesus? Yes. He was hanging out with God himself. In effect, don't you think he's going to hang out at the church? Yes. He hanging out with the preacher. Yes. Because the preacher got a message that can change lives. Yes. I ain't worried about the people. Let me get the preacher. Because the preacher going to change the people. Yes. Marvel not. Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. His ministers, ministers of righteousness. They look like ministers of righteousness, but giving you a message of condemnation. Yes. Yeah. Oh, come on, somebody. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And if you go to church every Sunday and every Sunday the message is about getting come things, on. you better get out of that church. That's right. Yes. Amen. I told them, I told them to trust. You know what, brother? I'll try to stay like this, but I'm gonna preach what God tells me to preach. I ain't preaching to get people. Yeah, God, you know, God has anointed me to preach the gospel. If that was the message, man, this place would be overflowing. If that was the message. But it's going to overflow with people. Yes. They're truly after the heart of God. Yes. It's going to flow with people that truly want to touch lives. That truly want to see people change. I can't wait to bless folks. Let me tell you something. I love blessing people. I ain't gonna bless no lazy person. Because the Bible says he that dealeth with a slack hand can become poor. Yeah. In other words, a lazy brother ain't gonna have nothing. Mm -hmm. But he that's diligent yeah. make it rich. Yes. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. So if I see a brother struggle, I can't wait to bless him. Because he's trying. Yes. And you help the people that are struggling. A statistic is more empty houses than homeless people in America. That is, a, that is a statistic. More empty houses than homeless people. What in the world I'm doing with a $20 million house when I can buy a whole bunch of houses for some folks that really need a house? <coughs> get a job so you can just pay the taxes. That's all you got to do, man. Get a job so you can pay the taxes on your house. Here's your house, son. Right. You know, I'm going to close with this, but I was talking to my mom yesterday. She said, you know, everybody, she said, you know what, Tim, I always hear folk preach about how they came and laid the money at the apostles' feet. Mm -hmm. But they stopped right there. That's right. <laughs> mm -hmm. They don't say nothing about how they distributed yes. that out. Amen. To yeah. every man as he had me. That's right. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. We got some folks in need in church that's really trying. Shame on us that we can go buy these expensive homes. $15 million homes. Million dollar cars. And say this is the way blessed is supposed to look. Well, I'm reminded that John the Baptist had, was eating locusts and wild honey and had camel, hairy man, and he was in the wilderness eating locusts and wild honey. He wasn't blessed. Come on. And he prepared the way. Come on. That's right. How will we look at him today? He cursed. That brother cursed, yep. super cursed. You come to prepare what way? Brother, you ain't blessed. Don't you know we have need of nothing? Wow. We're rich and have need of nothing. Come on. Don't you know we look warm? <laughs> huh? That little to see in church. Don't you know we we look warm, brother? We rich, increased in goods. We have need of nothing, man. Look how blessed we are. We don't know we're poor, miserable, wretched, and blind and naked. We don't know that. Before, come on. But there's a message coming that's going to open the eyes of the blind and clothe the naked. He said, Buy me gold tried in the fire. That's what Jesus said. 
He said, don't you know you're poor, miserable, wretched, and naked and blind? But I'm rich and Christian could have no need of nothing. That lukewarm church. But it's time for us to either get hot or cold. Right. Yes, yeah. amen. Boy, I know y'all are looking right. past yes. the law system. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I ain't lost my mind. I see what's going on. Because I, I'm praying and seeking. I see he's showing me what's going on. He said, I want you to expose this mess. Yes. Thank you. Brother, justify your $20 million house. Justify. Well, the Bible says, no, oh, brother, but judge, give us the whole council. That's right. Give us the whole council. Right. Rightly divide that thing. Give it to us right. Justify your $20 million home. Mm -hmm. And you got God's people out here struggling. Mm -hmm. The Bible said there should, there should be equality in the body. Yes. That means we all should be taken care of. Yes. Amen. We should all have what we, we, God should supply our need. Yes. And if you're lacking, come on somebody. Like I said, God has given us wisdom how to deal with folks. So come up here to me. I need, I need, and you ain't working. That's right. Hey, don't come here. I need, I need, I need, and you, you got the latest fold out, flat screen TVs, and I need, I need, brother. Well, you don't need nothing. What you need to do is get rid of some things. Yeah. I thank God for this woman. Come on, somebody. You ain't gonna trick us up. Come on, somebody. But what you need to do is get rid of that car. What's more important, car or that? Somebody help me. Yes, yes. Good stewards. That's what the Lord wants you to be. Yes, He does. Thank you, Father. Mother's Day message. Let me tell you something. It is time for us to wake up. You know, in that revival, the second night, y'all know the second night. Mm -hmm. I preached yes. about the walls coming down. Yep. Yes. Yep. 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 You see how many people were jumping up to that. Folks, ready, y'all. Yes. That's why God has prepared us. They ready. Yes. They yes. sick of it. Yes. Folks, sick of this mess. Yes. We living in perilous times. Yes. We need something more than money to keep us down. Right. So yes. Yes. Money can't stop them tornadoes from coming. We need a word that can keep us through some tribulations. Yes, amen. We need the truth. Yes. Amen, amen. Yes. Because the world got money. If that's the case, it's more them blessed than us. That ain't the case. Jesus said, Blessed is the man that endure temptation, for he shall receive a crown of righteousness in that day. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Mm -hmm. Blessed are the poor. Blessed are the meek. Blessed are those, the peacemakers. That's who. Blessed are those who have not seen me. He didn't say nothing about no blessed is no man. They got a whole lot of things. Mm -hmm. And you know what I love about God? He said, the things that the world seek after, I add to you. You seek the kingdom. That's right. Yes. Yes. If you seek the kingdom, I add that to you. All right. The very thing that they seeking after, I'll add to you. Yes. So you just got a prosperity message today, but the very opposite of one. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. And people are keeping in church five hours and one day talk about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so scared you're going to go somewhere else that you're in church every day of the week. <laughs> That you don't even know your wife. You don't know your kids. They don't know you. Oh, so preaching kids the worst one because they don't spend no time with them. You mean God ordained that when He ordained the family? He ordained the home. He, he you mean tell me God told? But you need to be single. Read First Corinthians chapter seven, I believe. You need to be single if you want to, you want to neglect your children and neglect your wife. Then you need to live a single life. Then you give all your time to God. Yes. Mm. But if you married, you ain't got no business in church five, seven days a week. <laughs> Leadership on meeting on Monday, Bible study on Tuesday, men's fellowship on Wednesday, uh, church on Thursday, Friday night prayer out 
preach on Saturday, back in church Saturday morning. It's Sunday. That's seven days. <laughs> and you don't even know you, you don't even know your kids. Uh, what you say your name was? I said, Yo, he said, oh, you my wife. Oh, <laughs> you know why they do that? Because if I can control you, I want all your time to go to TV. And you wear people, people really don't know what the liberty of God is. They really don't know what being free of God is. And that's what we're going to present here. It's too many Josephs. Too many Josephs. The, the prison part of Joseph. In prison, he was prospering. He had mercy and favor. But yet, he still was in prison. And it's too many of these folks running around here. And what they're looking at is their prosperity and don't realize they bound. It's time for them to go. Time for people to get set free. Come on, let's give God praise in the house. Father, we thank you today. Father, we give you all the honor and glory. Thank you for your son, Jesus. Lord, he became poor that we could become rich. Father, we thank you that we want to store our treasures in heaven, not on the earth. Father, we're locusts, moths, corrupt. We would have to store our treasures in heaven, Father, that, that is eternal. Father, help us to keep our mind and our eyes stayed on you. Lord, we just give you the praise. We give you the honor and glory. In Jesus' name, thank you. I want to say this just once. You know, this is just dropping my spirit. I didn't get to present this message like I thought I was because you know, what the Holy Spirit made me to do. But let me tell you something. The Bible said all things work together for the good for them that love God and are the call according to his purpose. If you love God, all things are going to work together for the good. You may not think it's your good. That's why it says all things work together for the good. And you notice it said not your purpose, his purpose. It works together for the good for those that love God. You got to love God for his purpose to be fulfilled in your life. It's going to take you loving God because you won't, you're not going to want to do it. Jesus loved the Father. Even when he was in the garden, he said, I don't want to go. Is there another way? And when you look up all the words, man, he was in distress. He was overwhelmed. He was messed up there. Is there any other way? And some of us sometimes, well, I wish I was there. You know, I don't thought that. Especially when I met my wife and saw what we could have, what we could have in Austin. I'm just being real. We already got a home there. Our family there. She was set up there making over six figures a year there. It was too easy for us to do that. And we got to step on. You know what God said? That is not my way. That's your way. Somebody help me. Nevertheless, look, is there any other way? Is, can I drink another cup? I don't want to stay here. I don't want to go to that cross. Is there another way, Lord? And Jesus knew he was going to raise on the third day. But he still said, is there any other way besides this? I'm going to be separated from you for, for, for the whole world. I'm going to take on the sins of the Is there any other way, God? But nevertheless, not my will, not my way, your way. Because your way is better than my way. Even though your way might hurt more, fit. Oh, come on, somebody. Even though I might suffer more your way. Oh, my, 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 my. It would be easy if I do it my way. But I might suffer more 
your way. I'm going to suffer more your way, but your way is the right way. Because at the end of my suffering, you exalted me above every. You exalted my name above every day. What I did it your way, when Jesus did it his way, God highly exalted him. Even though it caused him a lot of pain. So yeah, God's way might hurt a little more. But he develops you. His way is better. Not your way. You got to do it his way. Yeah, it might be easier over there. But God can, you can lean on God over here. He can raise you up over here. He can make you over here. And greater is the promotion over here. Somebody help me. The reward is greater when you do it God's way. So don't try to get somewhere quick. Let God take you there. Because even though sometimes you might have to come all the way back down to the bottom, He's going to raise you back up higher than where you was. Amen. See, Jesus was all, He was already on the throne. The Word of God was there. He was on the throne. He was with the Father. But He said, You know what? I want to bring everybody else with me. I want to go redeem them so they can be where I am. So I got to go back down and come back up. And sometimes you got to get knocked all the way back down. Think about it. He came down from heaven. Put on flesh. Then when he put on flesh, thought about brought for evil with God. Then when he put on flesh, he had to become a servant. He was made in the likeness of a man. Then he had to humble himself even lower. He went up, then he went to hell. He went to the lower parts of the earth. He went as low as you can go. And God raised him back up and highly exalted him. Don't you know God can do that for you? Sometimes we got to go low. And he said, I'll bring you back up. So guess what we need to do? Thank God for this daily bread. Thank God for right now. Thank God for CHF. Thank God where I'm at right now. That's what we need to do. Give thanks with a grateful heart. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God concerning you. Give God praise.